Tables and chairs and books. Lots of books. They were surrounding, ever imposing their presence on the conversation. Philosophy, prose, poetry, reference, all loomed. Natalie sat across from him and she was speaking about time. Time and perspective, and it was passing and he was seeing. The images on the books were reminders of the streams that flowed through her mind. At times, the eddies expanded and overwhelmed her, but she recovered, reset her bearings, and continued. She answered him slowly and responsibly, her eyes shifting across the faces of her family and these educators. They were not seeking judgment, but she felt the judgment regardless. Weight lifted, voices in silence that had once talked of South America and magic. How strange are the events, and what does it mean to see? Notice and continue. See and describe a flow of understanding just beyond the surface. But is that surface permeable? Though the voices were silent, her thoughts were loud and her anxiety was both in full remission and full of fruition. Time. Talking about the being of the places and the relativity of distance. I am here and you are there and there is more to time than what I have or you have and there is more to space too. Now we speak and we listen as her words fill us with her thoughts and they can speak for us if we let them. Natalie endured.